and welcome to my very first products I've used up video. In this video I'm going to show you all of the products that I've used up recently and I've got this bag here with all of the products and I'm basically just going to grab whatever's in here and show you guys and give you some mini reviews on them, telling you if I like the product or if I didn't and if I did if I'm going to repurchase it or not. So that's basically it guys, so let's get this baby cracked and let's get started! A little disclaimer for you guys before I begin, um, there's no system in this video at all. I'm just going to grab the first thing that I see in this bag and um, yeah, there's quite a lot so it's going to be a long video. So the first thing that I grab is a makeup remover, it's a 3-in-1 facial wash um, and makeup remover. So it says here to clear your skin and also moisturize it. It's without alcohol or parabens or any artificial colors. And I really, really like this product. It's from the brand Leverbees, which is a Danish brand. It had a scent of citrus, which I really, really like. And it was really, really nice on the skin as well. It didn't break me out or anything like that. And it really, really cleared my skin really well. And it also removed my makeup really well as well. So um, yeah, I really really like this product and I'm definitely going to repurchase this. Next is also some, um, it is some refreshing cleaning wipes um, from Nivea and I actually like these, um, they, these are for normal skin and they were alright, I mean um, they did its job, they removed my makeup but um, yeah, I don't think I'm going to repurchase them anytime soon. I like this one much better than these. They're quite easy and handy to have with you on if you're going traveling or something like that. The next thing is some dry shampoo from Gunbrit. I also think this is a Danish brand. It was alright, I mean, nothing special about it. It was alright, it did its job, which was to keep my hair looking fresh, uh, even though I hadn't been washing it. I don't think that I'm going to repurchase this um, because there's a lot of dry shampoos out there that I haven't tried yet and I really want to try some other dry shampoos. Next is... Um, uh, this is also from Nivea. This is a uh, Diamond Touch Cream Oil. It's a cream oil shower thing with diamond shimmer and white color scent. It's actually quite a while since I used it up, so I can't really remember. I remember I liked it. It's got this really nice scent to it. It really made my uh, skin feel really, really soft and nice when I went out of the shower. And yeah, I think I'm going to repurchase this again because I really like this smell and it did, it did its job really well. Next up is some from Kirastasi. It is the conditioner for color treated hair which is in this really, really awesome, fierce pink bottle. I really like that. It's quite good because I have obviously dyed my hair and your hair can tend to go really, really uh, dry when you dye your hair. And this has definitely helped me to both keep the color in my hair, but also to keep it fresh and looking healthy and good. I really, really like this. And this is actually the conditioner that I use and I've already bought a new one, so I really, really love this product and I will definitely recommend it to anyone who dyes their hair. Next thing is from MAC and it's their brush cleanser oil. This is the only thing that I use to clean my brushes and I really, really like it. I've already bought a new one of these because this is the only thing that I will use on my brushes, especially because most of my brushes are from MAC. So I think it goes great together with this one. And what else do we have in here? Oh yeah, this is the Elizabeth Arten Privage Serum for lashes and brows. It is the enhancing serum that is supposed to make your lashes and eyebrows grow. First of all, I really, really like this product and I've also done a review on it on my blog. I will link it down below so you can go check that one out. But I really, really like this product. It is really great and it really works actually. I didn't notice that much difference on my lashes because I've all already got quite long lashes so if they went any longer it would be insane <laughs> but my 
um, eyebrows, however, they got much stronger and yeah, I don't know, they just went stronger and more fuller, I guess, um, which I really, really liked. This definitely helped me and I've already uh, purchased another one because I really like this and I really, really believe that it works and um, yeah, so um, I will definitely recommend this. Next up is some Lambie tissues. Um, they are really, really great and they do their job. Um, I don't really like the smell of them though, but they make your hands clean and that's what they're supposed to, so they're alright. I mean, they're really handy to have in your bag or if you're doing your makeup. Next up is something from Dior. It is the Ultimate Wrinkle Correction Cream. It says here in the back that it's not for individual sale, so I think this is a um, tester that I've got while I've been purchasing something else. Um, but I've used it all up um, and I really, really liked it. Um, it really did its job really, really well. I like that it made your skin feel really, really nice and soft and it was really gentle as well. Overall, really, really great product. I don't think that I'm going to purchase it in the full size because I'm not that old yet. Maybe when I go older I will use this, but um, so far I liked it, but um, I'm not going to repurchase it. Oh yeah, and this is the Dr. Organic Bioactive Skincare Organic Moroccan Argan Oil Day Cream. And it is really, really moisturizing and so nourishing to your skin and it really works wonders. I am in love with Dr. Organic and their products. They are amazing and they really work. The thing that they're organic and that they're made from oils only and they're firming and toning and cell protecting and really, really great for you. That's just amazing and I love them so, so, so much. And I definitely recommend them to any of you. I've had some problems with dry areas in my face, especially on my nose and on my chin and also my forehead sometimes. And this uh, cream has really helped me to get really moist skin and all of my dry areas have disappeared. Yeah, it's really, really great and I can't really say anything bad about it. And I've already repurchased another one of these because this is a wonder product. Next, I've got um, some Beauty Pacifique anti cellulite gel. I really wanted to try this because I really wanted to see if it really could firm up my legs and my arms. I noticed that my legs got a little bit firmer, but else I haven't really seen that big of a result. It says that it's supposed to even out the cellulite skin by a striking 22%. Um, I don't really know if that's the truth or not, um, but yeah. I've used it up and it was alright, nothing special actually, but um, I think it's greater for all the skin really that needs to be firmed up and that needs to be tightened up and so on. So yeah, I haven't repurchased another one yet, but maybe I'm going to, I'm not sure. But um, it's an alright product really and I like that it felt like it really worked. Next is some Christian Dior. It is the uh, Dior Skin Nude Compact O in the color 020 um, and it is oh god it's all cracked in here but it was a face powder which I've used all up it was really really great and I really like oh god I really like yours makeup products they're really really great and I think this was with SPF 10 in it I also like the packaging so um, I'm going to repurchase this sometime um, but right now I'm going through my Chanel powder which I'm also really, really in love with. Next is some Nivea Buttermilk um, to dry to very dry skin. And um, it is long lasting and intensive caring to your skin. I've used this product um, in the evening before I went to sleep. Um, used it all over my body and then in the morning my body would feel really, really soft and nice. But I really, really like this product and I'm going to repurchase this. Next up is some cotton pads for Silk Line Deluxe. Yeah, they were quite average, but I thought I would show you the packaging and so on. But I liked them, they were fine and they did their job. Some more cotton pads. Um, these are the small ones, these were some bigger ones. Um, both quite alright products. These are from Saturn Balance. And there was 18 this one. Oh. <laughs> 18 this one and 15 this one and um, they're both really really great. Next is some deodorant from Chanel. It is the Coco Mademoiselle. 
Um, I also have the perfume, so this was really, really great with that perfume. It's really, really refined. It really works really well, and it keeps me from being smelly all day, so it really does its job really well. So yeah, like that one. Ooh. Next is some shampoo, and it is also from Kerastasi. It is the Complete Nutrition Shampoo for Normal to Slightly Sensitized Hair. This was also really, really great. I really love Kerastasi and their products. They are really, really great. Yeah, this has also helped me a lot because I had some problems with dry um, hair. But this has definitely given it its um, healthy look back. I really like this one and going to repurchase it sometime. Next is also from Kirstasi. It is a hair mask, which is really, really great. Um, I've used this whenever I really felt that my hair needed some really moisturizing treatment. And this has really, really worked wonders. I think this is a travel size that I used when I went to London. And um, yeah, I'm all out as you can see totally used it up but um I really really like this and I'm and I'm going to buy the full size of it definitely. Next up is a really really small eyebrow pencil that is seriously out. I can't use this anymore because it's so tiny I can't even hold it. Um but I think it's it was from uh Maybelline it was in the colour 03 brown and um I don't think that they do these um, eyebrow pencils anymore, but I really, really liked it. It was really nice and it did its job. Yeah, I'm going to throw that out, out now because clearly I can't use this anymore. And then there's some from Dior as well. It is the Dior Skin Nude Concealer and it's a skin perfecting hydrating concealer and I really, really like this product. It is really great. I've used this for so, so long and I really like it. I like the finish that it gives. It gives a really glowy nice looking skin and it really really covers up blemishes and spots really well and also red areas on your face. I'm really really in love with this product and I've already repurchased this um, and it is in the colour 001 Ivory. I think there's three colours in this concealer line and um, this is definitely the lightest because I'm really really pale. That was actually the last thing from me. Um, I really hope that you liked this video. I really liked doing it. There was a lot of different products in here and I really hope that you liked it and that it helped you out to see the things that I've used up and the things that I've liked or haven't really liked. Um, most of the products that I've used up I've liked obviously but um, some of them more than others. Please give a thumbs up and like it and give me a comment to tell me if you've tried any of these products and liked it or hated them and please subscribe to my channel. I'm new here to YouTube still and I really need some help to start out and get some more subscribers so I can do some more videos. Um, so yeah, that was all from me. Thank you very much for watching and keep an eye out for new videos. So have a really great day.